The Edo State House of Assembly on Wednesday they don't start impeachment proceedings against the state deputy governor, Right Honorable Comrade Philip Shaibo. The majority leader, Charity Agwaba Yawe, announced the impeachment notice during plenary contacts of the petition dated March 5th, they signed by 21 out of the 24 members against the deputy governor. Mr. Speaker, we have a petition. Don't push on to session 188. Sub 1, 2A. Sub 1, 2A. The Speaker of the House, Right Honorable Blessing Abweba, who can receive the petition and come direct to the Clerk of the House, Yaraya Omogbai, to serve Shaibu the impeachment notice. Abweba could come also give the Deputy Governor seven days to respond to the notice of impeachment. I hereby acknowledge the receipt of the impeachment notice dated 5th of March 2024. Clerk is hereby to cause the service of this notice of the respondent, Deputy Governor of the United States, right away, Philip Shire, promptly, and has seven days to respond to this petition. Furthermore, members should serve with this petition. This is the clear statement. After the plenary session, Honorable Charity Agwabawe for in talk with three people contact say. This morning, I presented to Mr. Speaker a notice brought pursuant to session 188 sub 1 and 2A of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to the effect that the Deputy Governor of Edo State Right Honorable Comrade Philip Shaibu show cause why he will not be impeached as the Deputy Governor of the state. The reasons as contained in the said notice are two. Number one reason is that sometime last year, July last year, he fired on the 26th of July as a matter of fact, he filed a suit against the theory organs of government, the legislature, the judiciary, and the executive, and disclose no need to be false information that are not true, that are baseless, and more importantly, he filed under oath matters that are top government secret, contrary to his oath of office, as embedded in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And you know all that the Constitution is the ground norm, and any infraction of it leads to uh, a punishment because it seems to undermine the very uh, essence of the power you wield. So by doing that, uh, the House, 21 members of the House signed the petition. That's for you to know how popular this sentiment is. That is, 
between the majority and the minority members, we are adding them that we are tired of the embarrassment that is consistently being uh, uh, given to the Edo State Government and that it should go and find another thing to do. Uh, we are ready to press it, we are ready to make sure that it's investigated and if found guilty, the proper actions will be taken. We know the steps to be taken, there are several steps to be taken, but this is the first step. That is for him to know that this is the uh, uh, allegation. It is yet an allegation. This is an allegation against you, answer to them. If the answer comes and is satisfactory, the matter ends there. If it is not satisfactory, a motion will be moved, uh, supported by two third majority of the House, and the matter will now be slated for investigation. And the main uh, uh, plank of that investigation is the Chief Judge of Edo State setting up a committee of seven men that are apolitical to review the allegation against him. And if they find him guilty, they bring it back to us. Whether he responds or he doesn't respond, the process has been set rolling and it continues to roll. Anything that stands on his way is crushed. The impeachment notice now the latest palaver between the state governor Godwin Obaseki and the deputy right honorable Kamri Philip Shaibu, who know they agree with each other since last year when Shaibu announced the intention to run for the office of the governor of the state. Mekuna not forget say, as we see him, now so we did talk him. We know they take blame. From Edo State House of Assembly, Ekata Ojisoli, TMC TV News.